Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today we are here in the city of Henderson, master community called Inspirata. We're actually in uh, phase one of Inspirata, and we're gonna take a look at this designer, Century. And this one is actually 3,231 square feet. And it is a two story. You have four to six bedroom option, three and a half bath to four and a half bath option. Also a two to three car garage. I'm, I'm just not even gonna wait around. I'm just gonna tell you guys the price. Uh, the base price on this is $456,490. You do have a option to have a casita. Uh, out of all the models, this is actually uh, my favorite model just to the fact that you do have a nice little courtyard area for your privacy. And also you have a small little casita, okay? And what I like about this uh, casita is that uh, you'll actually have the option to do uh, different versions of customizing it. And I'll show you that here on the board here in just a second here. So this room right here is only probably about 12 by 12. It is not a big room. However, it's just for, you know, Airbnb. Or you have your guests that can come here and party when they go to the strip. Because obviously, when you move here, you're not going to want to go to the strip anymore. And they won't bother you. Okay, so looks like option, casita, multi-gen casita. Option, multi-gen casita with... Um, direct access this right here is the one or this one with the scene uh, the sitting room however it looks like the sitting room you're gonna lose that courtyard area but I like the fact that if you have a mother-in-law or father-in-law da daughter or whatever's they have their own garage and access to the property basically it's a house within a house ooh I love that shower the only thing is I don't like that stonework, even though it looks cool. Man, if you don't have a soft water, and even though with a soft water, you are definitely gonna have some cleaning problems. I can guarantee you that. Look at the uh, texture of this. Texture is really nice. Uh, this is an alligator print texture. Or you know what, this is more of a, a smack down uh, texture. Uh, this builder as far as for like material wise uh, You actually get some quality uh, items with this uh, builder as far as like uh, insulation r13 in the walls and R30 and radiant barrier now. This is one of my favorite designs. I mean take a look at this Look how beautiful this is look at that right there That is insane, isn't it? Now people ask, how often does somebody use a fireplace? I mean, they use it all the time during the winter time, but look how open this is. Look how open that is, right? Wow, this is amazing. Very, very, very impressive. Love the kitchen too. Kitchen is just clean, elegant. Look at that island. Lovely sink. Look at this. Let's take a look at some of these drawers. Standard drawers, however, um, you know, this builder is not going to use top of the line 
uh, material. They'll definitely cut costs. However, you don't have to have like the best cabinets uh, in the world. Uh, you got to really take a look at the location and the value play in the long run. And what I mean by that is like if you bought the home in the ridges and you're doing a million dollar home, right, standard, like you can't just have these kind of uh, cabinets, okay? It really depends because on a resale value, and every time I buy a home, even even though I'm not buying a home for myself, but for my clients, I'm always see the bigger picture because a lot of times clients just want to get into a home, but they don't realize uh, the things that you should be doing and the upgrades to a home that is so important because the average person here will only stay here for about five to seven years before they upgrade and they sell their home and move into a bigger, better home. I mean, there's so much value to hiring a realtor. Now, hopefully this um, windbreaker for my mic is working. Um, it is a little bit, little bit uh, windy today. But, however, okay come over here so that has been extended that's definitely an upgrade okay this saw an upgrade you're not gonna get the backyard all all nothing but dirt Pavers are included. That's a beautiful kitchen, man. I'll tell you. I mean, look at just the, how open this thing is. That's just insane. Right? So come down here. Okay. We have your valet. This is where you take your shoes off and all that stuff. Ooh, I'm getting you guys dizzy. Just got myself dizzy. Here's your garage. Okay, so uh, yeah, that is the garage. So basically, they're probably using that as a design studio. So there is your garage, okay? Two car but optional three car garage. Coming over here should be the half bath. Look at the flooring on here. 24 by 24 tile, that's crazy. This right here is just storage, six panel door. Storage space underneath the closet. I'm not going in there because it looks a little bit scary. I mean, look at this, coming up the stairs. I mean, just look how open this thing is. I mean, that is just sick. Look at the windows, like. That's what I noticed now. Everything's all open floor plan. Um, bring in a lot of light. Now this area should have been an option too as far as another bedroom, right? Yeah, see look, I'll show you guys this here. Add a fifth bedroom in lieu of the loft. But you know what, I do like the loft. Would you guys add a fifth bedroom or actually have a loft? So we have one bedroom as far as the casita. We have another one here, okay? And a half bath downstairs and a full bath or three quarter bath in the casita. This bedroom looks to be about 15 by 13. Also, you have a shower.
Tile surround with bench is an option. Yeah, of course it's an option. Everything's an option. <laughs> Nothing's included. So we got nine foot ceilings, but to me it does look like 10. Just your closet, standard two by eight. Dude, this is a huge house, man. Look at this. How many square foot did I say here? Let me check my notes here. This is a huge home. Thirty-two hundred square feet. Three thousand two hundred thirty-one square feet. Wow, this is huge. Got your tub. Shower combo, fiberglass. Third bedroom. This bedroom, 12 by 12, it's not that huge. You got your walk-in closet. Four by four. So we're coming in the fourth bedroom. If you're counting that casita, I guess. Same size as the other room. Can you guys hear my slippers squeaking? So this room is identical to the the other room there. Man, look at this. That is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I just love how open that is. Landing closet. Nothing special. Coming into the laundry. That's a cool sign, clean. Now coming into the master. Dum 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 dum. Okay. So we got closet space here. I take it this is his. Why does the guy always get the smallest closet? I mean, come on now. Is this another closet? Okay, so this is just a linen closet. This room is a 20 by 20, so it is a decent sized room. Wow, look at the flooring coming into the bathroom. Look at that transition. That is crazy. So we have bath. The only thing about this tile, it's slippery. So you come out of the shower, be careful. Love the tub. Some of these tubs you gotta uh, look out for. This is a plastic tub. Some of them, uh, the cast iron ones, are actually the quality ones. Uh, they're expensive. Those are more of like uh, the knockoff type of uh, tubs. And sometimes they'll charge you 
six grand just for the upgraded options and you're thinking you're getting a nice tub but you're actually paying for a um fiberglass one oops pan up here So this must be hers. This is five by, I would say five by 18, five by 20. Love the bathroom though. Like I said, it's gonna be very slippery um, if you get this floor wet and you step out the shower. So make sure to have a, a shower mat or a floor mat when you step out. This is just insane. All right, look at this. Look at this one more time. Look at this one more time. Isn't that beautiful? So beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about this property. If you think it is worth the asking price. Also, uh, let me know in lieu of the loft, if you would add that uh, fifth bedroom. And also on the casita, would you add that attached garage or just leave it the way it is? Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Also hit that thumbs up button. The reason why you should hit that thumbs up button is because it's going to notify you when we uh, have more properties that do come up on the market so that way you can see exactly what's going on here in the las vegas housing market i am chuck it's cruise with simply vegas thank you so much for tuning in and have a blessed day